So here am I again working on the my uh, comic book. This is uh, page 26 of. I'm, I hope to get to about 60, but it's taking a long time since I'm doing all of the all of the work involved. <clears throat> Eventually I'm going to have to get an editor to help with some of this dialogue and I don't really call myself a writer but I went for it anyways. There always comes the question, like, how much detail should I get, should I add to this, considering, you know, it's going to be on paper. I don't want to add too much detail to the background. It could, I don't, because since the focus is on the characters in the front here. <clears throat> And I tip, I should use some of the more straightened edges and make and use some of the tech within the software more often, but I have this habit of doing things by hand. I know it'll give it a lot uh, stronger edges in the end. But for whatever reason, I like to do things by hand. Maybe it's out of stubbornness. I don't know, but. As you can see, uh, for this, I added it's uh, 
There was a line on art underneath. So that's what I used to as reference. So for that line art, I use the mechanical pencil. I think it, it, it works pretty good. And for most of the painting, I actually use thick oil paint. And I kind of like the, the thick paint tab there. So, in this scene, this character right here uh, is kind of the leader of the group, and she's basically saying, don't F up, otherwise, you know, we're going to have a problem in the future. A little bit of foreshadowing there, but uh, <laughs> just kind of having fun with that. Some of these characters I designed, I had no idea what the hell they were going to look like. Um, <laughs> so I literally designed them on the ball, on, on the roll as I was making the comic. I don't know if that's normal. I, I didn't do a whole lot of uh, concepting beforehand. But... And maybe if I did more, I don't, I don't know, you know, if that's u usual for comic books. I, I don't, I just didn't want to spend too much time uh, with concepts and stuff. I just wanted to get going. And, you know, this is kind of the result of that. You know, I know silhouette and everything is important for character design, so I, I tried <laughs> to do it, you know, while I was working on the comic here. And yes, I do use the blender brush. It's a... Uh, it's here, I'm gonna use it. S screw anybody who says it's, you know, cheating. The soft is nice, can be nice in certain situations. I don't like to use it all the time, but in certain situations it works. I want to give kind of a nice little gradient there.
So, they're all look. This is the back of one of the ships. This over here to the left. This red area. It's like a, a screen on on the ship. And you can see that on the, the top here. This is kind of their four individual. I call them e -gyre. Uh, actually, not the E-Guy, the, or the uh, Fozer ships. And uh, this is just kind of the display. It's like a display on a screen. And, and she's kind of uh, showing the location. And there's actually a, a whole kind of a side plot here with... Uh, where, you know, why did they come to this particular spot while, you know, there, there's other motives for other characters going on. Like I said, I don't know if any of this detail is going to really register once this thing prints. Um, you know, it's <laughs> I'm going to have to do a couple test runs. Uh, you know, I could print this thing out and it, it's, it's an absolute mess. <clears throat> you know. So, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, honestly. I just kind of jumped into this and <laughs> and, uh, and went. You know, I didn't... You know, I don't even know how to thumb this thing correctly. But I, I just told myself, let's go. You know, more... I don't want to waste more time just... Sitting here planning, 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 and but I really consider this more of like a long term deal. Um, of course, I make art, regular art, on the side, but this is something that's. Uh, more of a long shot, I would say. <clears throat> Excuse me. Kind of a long shot. It probably won't work out. But it's something I've always wanted to do. You know, ever since high school or whatever. <clears throat> And I've, I've always made, worked on comics. some of the details in there.
I find this particular character, her name is Petra, actually kind of fun to draw. I don't know why. I know her, uh, costume is, is a little complicated, but maybe that kind of fits my style. I don't know. There I am, using the thick paint again. <laughs> Can't get away from the thick paint. It reminds me too much of actual oil painting. Without the mess. And recently I've been, uh, <clears throat> over the past few days, I've been going back to um, ink. I've gone away from ink for whatever reason. And I was just like all in on pencil <clears throat> and graphite and stuff. But for whatever reason, I, I just <clears throat> pulled out the, the pencils and my, those... Uh, Macron pen, uh, pens, really nice. I've been using them since uh, since high school. Actually, I would say uh, since uh, middle school, I've discovered those. And that, that was back in pff, late 90s, I would say early 2000s, around there. I've been using those and and I was really you know good with them but recently uh, I you know I just been all on pencil but now I went back and I'm like oh kind of really enjoying these again <clears throat> And I got a little bit of a nostalgia feel there. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of traditional stuff <clears throat> and you know the ink is really caught on for the past few days I wonder maybe I can put add his reflection in there so. So, if you look at this, her design, uh, helmet design, <clears throat> you have the two horns here. This, uh, I guess it'd be her left, is broken. 
Um, I plan to actually uh, make another comic, maybe not as intense and detailed as this one. Maybe like a black and white uh, ink, kind of ink design, more traditional. This is more like a painterly style. But I want it to, since her and him, they have a, uh, a kind of a long, a lasting relationship, but not, not, you know, in romantic terms, but more of the, uh, I guess you could say acquaintance or uh, work term or whatever, but... <clears throat> So it, I would kind of like to do it like the adventures of these two characters, <clears throat> if possible, if I could give myself enough time to, <laughs> to do something like It's just the problem I have is I'm not making, and this is not a complaint or anything, but I'm really just, you know, it's hard to sink so much time into something and you're not getting paid for it yet or you don't know if you will at all you know <clears throat> so i like to focus on other things that give me money at least and you know more currently than than this this is more like the long-term thing and it you know, if I can get income or whatever from it, <clears throat> um, I could put more time. It's just kind of a risk right now. So the story, I mean, it's it's a lot about uh, exploration. There's a lot of exploration going on. Um, exploration, discovery, um, and it's kind of a uh, maybe some people won't like this. It's kind of a dark story. How detailed am I going to get with this? <clears throat> Just going to make sure that some of these angles are, are good. It's always the tricky thing sometimes. You always have to have, in, in these comics, it's always the dynamic angles, you know, they, they, you got to keep the reader interested. So I'm always trying to find <clears throat> interesting views and angles and perspectives. And it can be kind of a challenge, you know, but I, it, oh, it's, it, frankly, this comic has been probably the number one thing that's helped me improve quicker than anything else. I've done, I've signed up for uh, 
workshops, and yes, I've improved from that. <clears throat> but I believe working on this daily has been the one number one thing, or you know, mostly daily. It's honestly because I've been ha I've been forced to get really really creative with some of the angles and like I mentioned before all that all that stuff it, it, it's been it's just it forces you to, into into making creative creative angles and, and that and I think doing a lot of like kind of oil painting on the side which I do plan to uh who, to whoever is watching this nobody um streaming that I can I gotta get my phone and everything ready but <clears throat> Like I said, I love this thick oil paint. It's so, I don't know. It, it's got some texture to it. I work on this. This hand right here, I don't, I don't like how it's, uh, here, okay. And as you can see, how I did it, pull the layer off, it's the Derek layer, and put the line art, and that's kind of what it looked like previously. So... Kind of selling, uh, showing you the under, the underbelly of everything, <clears throat> and I kind of want to have it where the sky up above here is is tumultuous. It's it's you know very dangerous. They can't move forward. They have to land, and I guess it's kind of a plot device to where you know why can't they just fly into um the location they need to well it's too too deadly if you move forward <clears throat> so let's focus on this hand up here so it's a little sloppy. It's right here. Even if nobody's like watching this, it's really, it's still fun. And I think it's almost like a documentation of, of my work. That's, that's kind of how I'm treating it.
So this is tricky. Get this uh, this shine in here. Now the display here is is red, so I'm gonna get some of the red from that into the because this is this this guy here is shiny metal <laughs> or you know some metal like it's like uh like a terminator or something but not not exactly but you know what i'm talking about the so the red display over here See to the left. Uh, I want it to reflect on this metal here, but I also want to get some of the purple sky up here. So that's why, you know, I, I like to pull some of that in from the top there. Actually, this, let me, I'm going to change this to more of a purple because it, I mean, I think it would be blocked. Like, see this knuckle piece right here? So I feel like the shading would kind of block that off like that and you get probably get a little bit of red in there so maybe like this from the beginning top of this the triangle area <clears throat> but I want to pull some of that purple in from the top from like the cloud area. Uh, kind of, it's kind of an interesting palette I got on here. It's <laughs> purple, red. Um, I don't know if I pulled off the, if you look at the mountains in the back, I don't know if that's, cause I, I wanted to give it like a distance. Since they're on a <clears throat> a cliff on a mountain, Mount uh, Minata, it kind of goes into a valley, and there's a uh, mountain range kind of far back. So I wanted to give it that bluish tint as to kind of give it like the atmospheric. Um, atmospheric uh, covering over the mountain. All right, back to the hand here. So let's sneak some of this uh, white in here. Uh, maybe add a little bit more. So with these these uh, thick paint brushes, sometimes you have to kind of glaze on the the color. So you have to do it's not like completely opaque. So you have to kind of build it up, which kind of gives you a little bit of room to work with. I think it's a good sort of balance between. All right, so right here, go back to some thick oil paint, another part, shadow, let me see, I, I want some, uh, some of this red kind of leaking through there. 
And let's blend it in. Maybe so. Let's see this here. I don't know if this is working. You know, and and honestly, like hands are one of the hardest things to really get get right all right so let's see so this kind of rim would be Taking some of the light, it's moving back like, you know, kind of diagonal. So, something like that. Get some of the red. There's no reason why this should be shading on there. Check the line art, see what I had. Uh, let's see. Shit. Shit foreground. All right. So I'm going to pull the, this knuckle. I, I want it to go like that. I don't know. I mean, it, I want some of it to show up here. Shine because you have the light hitting it directly. So, being kind of a rounded object, I don't want the shadow to hit the edge over here. At least that's how I see it. Uh, the comic book is something I like to work in the morning, so if inter if anybody's interested in watching this, I'll be doing this probably in the the mornings. Not every day, but um, all right. 
So out. One, two, three, four. Let me see. I don't know if I can get away with having this overlap. I don't think that's going to look good. Little odd looking, I don't know. Maybe kind of shave some of that off there. Let's see here. Okay. So when it comes to like shadows and stuff, if it's usually reflected, uh, it's good to try to put on a like a sharp edge. It doesn't, and and you know if it's like kind of closer, like this piece right here. Now. This piece does have some thickness to it, so I should get a little bit of red, put a little bit of red on on that. And then it kind of reflects onto the hand here. So the further away, the less uh, sharp the edge is. So let's dig into here. And for me, you know, I like to uh, obviously with the other stream, previous stream, I, I like to 3D model. And sometimes that that really does help with the 2D art sometimes because I can see how objects how they are constructed in 3D space. And, you know, how shadows fall. If, if you pay attention to it, you know, you might not, if you 3D model, maybe you don't pay attention to it, um, but it doesn't always apply to everybody. Like, if doesn't mean, you know, if you're, Go to three D modeling. You can draw. I know people that hate three D modeling. They cannot stand it, but they're great. You know, artists, two D art, two uh, D like visual artists. Um, it just always felt really natural, uh, to 3d model for me. It was just, I don't know. I just kind of caught on. I don't do enough of it. It's just, I don't know. I, I don't have a job in, in that kind of, in that field. So it, it's, it's like, how much time do I, you know, it's just the enemy for me is time. <laughs> I want to do all of this stuff, all these different types of arts, but I just don't have the time. So it's almost like I got to stick to a few things. This panel's looking pretty decent. I gotta fix uh, him back there. It's a little sharp. Just kind of smooth this out. Right 
This is, yeah, I could, it's kind of sloppy right here. Pretty decent from uh, edge lighting there. Kind of make it a little darker on the edge there. Need to bring some right up here. This, this would be so. Let's grab. Let me see. See the color from here. Uh, just a little bit. And then I want to add some on here. This is a. A shiny object also. So I want to change this. This is the kind of wrong sort of red. So kind of blend those bad boys in there. And this is not right either. And her helmet is not the right kind of red. You know, and I'm just having fun with this. This is not <laughs> a make all break all type of deal. It's it's just something I'm having fun with. Um, I just want to share it and you know, hopefully I can ho hopefully somebody will be interested in it. Other than me. <laughs> To be a boring mess. But 
But honestly, I'm having fun doing this, this kind of streaming stuff. Even though, even though <laughs> I don't think anybody's watching, I have to uh, kind of talk to myself, but it's... Um, I also, I have a YouTube channel for anybody interested. Um, I'm going to post all of this, everything I do on here, on there. So it'll be forever listed on YouTube. And I don't get many views over there either. So <laughs> it's just, uh. Kind of doing this in uh, obscurity, I guess, but that's okay. It's all good. So, I don't like that, how that lit. It's not this flip area. I kind of did this whole thing really quick and before and didn't really uh, let me see here so I, I this should probably be a little bit lighter I don't, I don't know why it's dark like that let me see Probably should be the bottom lip should be like because it's round should be kind of darker on the top. I don't know if that's looking a little funky. Okay, so it's going to be dark coming up from the bottom of the lip. Dark from there. There are have been there have been times when I hated the disliked the drawing or painting so much that I've uh, restarted the whole drawing. Like I, I I'm like that's not right, and no matter how much I try to f adjust and you know try to fix it, it just it's not not working so I've deleted past like parts of entire panels or frames or whatever you call them and uh, restarted it you know and it, it it's worked out and that's been kind of the process of me Improving. Oh, this lip is kind of bothering me. And the lip, that's always been a kind of a problem issue with me. I don't know why. It's just one of them parts I need to. It's a little light coming. So 
This should be kind of going in that direction. I don't like that. some of that in this is kind of a square design I'm going to bring some of this purple in over here it's just too gray and I probably should darken it in the back here Same with down right here. It's dark, I want it to be lighter on this side. some blending. Looking a little bit better. Not all jacked up before like before. Put some of that purple in there. You know, I gotta consider what's reflecting from from the bottom coming from the bottom up you know it's like how much light is actually this piece receiving you know it, it, i got to con consider you know it's things coming from the sky and and what what's actually behind this character if i'm overthinking this i don't know but That's kind of what goes in my head when I'm <laughs> doing some of this. Maybe it's a little bit too much. And I need to simplify things. Not, not too bad. Let's get some of this light purple up here. That'll work. That'll come to kind of round it up at the top. It's not... Uh, so obscure and and doesn't lose the edge up there. It's actually back here. Let's see, it's kind of straighten the back out here. I gotta have that, the sky kind of reflecting, or his head reflecting. This guy is, he's got a shiny head. 
So. This guy's a jerk, but actually the way of you know I read wrote wrote him, he becomes a little bit likable later on. All right, so the back of his head, it's kind of interesting. In the beginning, earlier in this comic book, there is, it's a different design, basically. And I, I kind of wanted a, kind of a subtle change to when there Obviously, the more human characters change a lot because they got to put, you know, outfits on because it's a kind of a dangerous environment. But this character, I, you know, it, it just didn't make sense to change him up too much. So I did a, a little bit of a subtle change with the, the back of his head. You know, if you notice, it has like these three kind of prong like a fork objects coming out the, you know, they kind of extrude out of his, the back of his head. But I took that off. I, I don't really have much of an explanation for that, but I guess I have to make something up to, <laughs> to, uh, you know, I'm not George Lucas or anything and, and just have everything all made up. So I got to, make an explanation and that that's kind of the fun part is sometimes the the drawing really bounces off the off the writing it's like okay i can i can write something about that why why is this like that why did it change you know so it's it's all very interesting and and uh, Keeps the creative juices going. So I want to have some a little bit of like indentation up here. You know, I don't want it to be f like flat because it's just a little, little bit of silhouette, you know. See how that goes like that. Just a little bit of a silhouette. And I probably shouldn't have the dark going all the way to the edge there. Um, let's see here. Maybe because this is being a round object and kind of shiny. Some of that glossiness in there. That's always. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. It's a little bit of oh, that's wrong. Let me see. I'll just kind of fix this here.
Kind of add a little bit uh, extra level of darkness here. You know, this is like pushing an eight or a nine in the value scale. Still, do you don't like to go too dark, but I, I with the digital work, it's it's not too. I, I think that applies more to traditional. Especially with like oil oil painting, um, I don't like to use a whole lot of like straight black, jet black, lamp black, anything like that, um, because it really does make everything flat. Um, it just it whatever for whatever reason it just doesn't work too much with oil painting. It's better. I think to mix mix other colors to get a dark color like uh, burnt umber and, and blue is pretty good. Um, if you want more of a cooler, you could go with, or uh, sorry a a, a a warm colors. I mean, you can do like a darker red, burnt umber. Maybe a little bit of blue. I mean, it, it. I don't know if it'll come out too muddy or anything, but I think that's uh, definitely better with oil painting because then you, the blending it works better, and then you you kind of get those other colors kind of blended in, and it, it just looks a little, little bit more natural. Because honestly, like how how many things in, in nature are completely pitch black that's not a whole lot so even when it's dark outside it's just not completely black so i'm gonna have to start wrapping this thing up i got other things i have to do um i don't know if anybody <laughs> Anybody else is watching this, but definitely uh, keep tuning in. I'm going to continue to do this despite, uh, you know, not having much of an audience right now, but it's, it's kind of the process, you know. And I don't know, you know... <sighs> Is, is my art, you know, is it not good or I, I, I don't really, I, I, uh, there are people that like it. I don't, I don't know if it's just my style isn't popular or what the, the deal is, but, or maybe, you know, I just haven't been, you know, I don't want to say discovered, but. Uh, maybe I'm just not good. I need more practice or something, but that's what I'm here for. <laughs> and I'm just having fun, you know, kind of chronicling this this journey through. Creating some art. Maybe somebody will like it. <laughs> or nobody. I did have a, a, a recent sell on Etsy. So somebody enjoys it. It's, it's almost like where do I where where what direction do I take the art? Do I just keep doing this like horror stuff, or you know, I mean that that's kind of unique to me. So that's probably where I need to focus on.
and it, you know it's it's where a lot of my uh, my joy comes from is making that. I know it's dark and and can be a little dreary, but you know that's sort of what I like to do. Some people, you know, I guess it's like a niche kind of audience. Very neat, which which is fine. So I wanna sneak some red in here. That would be uh red and then maybe from here the back of his neck it's not gonna go to a whole lot but uh just a little bit of red back there just a little bit Kind of some purple from the sky up here. Just so many things you have to take into consideration. And like I said, maybe I'm over doing this entire thing and it's, <laughs> I just need to make things simpler. This design's coming out pretty good, I think. Uh, I need to fix this area. It's very uh, like from here. That's not good. So I think yeah, let's cover that. Um, go like that. And this. Fix that. So this is stuff that I gotta come back to. It's just I even this is not good. And I probably got too much red up here. Cartage thing. So areas like this, right, right in and here, uh, by the, the neck really needs a lot of work. Um, but I'm gonna have to end this stream. I gotta get ready for my other job. Um, so any of those that have watched this entire thing, uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm definitely going to be on here a lot, a lot more. It's uh, something that's fun for me, and uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy it. And check out all my other social media. Um, I got a YouTube channel, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, I don't know a lot of people don't like NFTs, but I got uh, some of those on Rarible. Uh, I got some art for sale on Etsy. Just a bunch of things everywhere. Um, thanks for tuning in. And I'll, I'll uh, talk to you guys later.